Hi everyone, I am Nina, and today we are playing Marcella Moon and the Curse of the Black Cat. The developer reached out to me to play the game before it releases on October 1st. By the time you see this video, it should already be out, so I will leave a link to the download in the description. I'm really excited because it's only September right now, and I'm ready to get into the October fall vibes, so I'm excited that I get to do this early. I'm also excited you guys get to enjoy this during spooky season, so grab your tea, sit back, relax, and let's get into Marcella Moon and the Curse of the Black Cat. New game. <clears throat> Click on hotspots to interact. Some inventory items can be used on characters by clicking the inventory item and then the character. Good to know. Let's go. Three years ago. <sighs> oh, look at our cute bedroom. So I believe we are playing as Marcella, very uh, Nancy Drew style. I'm hoping some detective work. I've never played a Marcella Moon game and I feel very bad that I haven't played the other two, but I'm very excited about this one. And let's see, where do we even start? There's so much to look at. Uh, I love mirror. Oh, she's so pretty. Okay, so, can we not, like, get ready for the day? I like how I look in this shirt. Oh, okay, we're already dressed and ready to go. Sorry, Marcella, I thought we were gonna, I thought we were gonna, um, get changed into outfits for the day, but no, she's good. She's good to go. Um. My grandmother's mirror. Oh, that just takes I us back to like Okay, okay. Still getting used to the hot spots. I've got a few more things I'd like to get done today. Okay, so <laughs> Marcella's not not an advocate for naps, so don't really like that. I like somebody who allows me to nap during the middle of the day. I know we just woke up, but... Ooh, what is this? Should I get... Hold on, I feel like I should get notes out. I don't have my, my notebook ready for, for note-taking. We all know the best gaming detectives have to take notes, right? Okay, so heart plus star plus square equals 14. Oh gosh, I'm always bad at these. Oh, let's start at the bottom. The bottom one's easy. Heart plus heart equals six. So the heart we know equals three, yeah? So it's three plus star plus square is 14. So the star and square equals 11 and then the square and triangle equals six hmm what other ones have hearts in it oh there we go uh triangle plus heart equals five so that we know that the triangle is now math 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 five minus three is two two so two plus the square is six, so square is four. So we have three plus star plus four. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, is that seven? Seven plus seven is 14. Yeah, so the star is seven. Sorry guys, I've not been in school in a very long time to have to do basic math. <laughs> Um, so then I guess the circle and the diamond are the only ones we don't know now? Because now we have circle plus triangle is two, plus the square is four, so six plus circle. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen is eight. Circle is eight. I wonder if this is important or if I'm just doing it for fun, because I am not mad either way. So... Diamond plus seven is 13, so the diamond has to be six, yeah? I did it. I wonder if that's important. I wrote it down. So we have <laughs> the heart is three, triangle's two, square is four, star is seven, circle is eight, and diamond is six. I'm hoping that's correct. Um, what else can we look at? Can we leave the room? Looks like it was, ooh, candle. 
or computer or computer okay we're on the computer now let's get into Marcella's deep dark secrets on the internet let's see urgent please read okay Lydia Sarah <clears throat> Hello, Marcella Moon. According to our records, you have not yet claimed your payment of 270,000 USD. You must not ignore this email. In order to claim your payment, you must send us a deposit of 450 US dollars and a scan of your passport. Then we can verify your identity and send your funds. <laughs> Please send the deposit within six days of your payment or your payment will be forfeited. Lydia Sarah, President, Bank of the Republic. <laughs> Lydia, you seem a little sketchy. Um, just as a gentle reminder, don't send money to people you don't know. I feel like Lydia was trying to scam us there. Maybe not the best idea. Um, okay, let's go down here so where the thread starts. Uh, February 11th by- oh, Rachel Lewis. Okay. OMG, plant milk is coming to Rosebrook in April. I've been wanting to see them live for forever. You in? And this is Marcella. Eh, I'm not sure yet. That's pretty pricey. I've got bills, you know. <laughs> Marcella is such a mood already. Uh, I don't know Marcella too well, but I already relate. <clears throat> hey girl, are you in for the concert? I need to get ticks ASAP. Prices are going up. I thought we just told you, Rachel. We can't afford it. Um... Thank you for applying to the junior event coordinator position. The ap your application has been received and will be reviewed by our team shortly. Um, yeah, so she is applying for jobs, which would <laughs> explain the not being able to afford the concert tickets. Hi, Marcella. We have received your application for office assistant. She's putting in the work. She is applying. She's doing her best. Spring is almost here, why not freshen your home with one of our signature spring-scented candles? We're looking for a job, I don't even think we can afford candles right now. Daffodil Dream, Morning Dew, Begonia Bloom. Although those do sound really nice. Those sound like they would, they would smell really good. I want Begonia Bloom personally. Get 50% off your purchase online or stop into our Rosebrook location today! I mean, at 15% off, I know we're, we're job hunting, but 15% off is, is pretty good for, uh, for candles. Your article on top 10 dog-friendly juice shops in Portland has been accepted with a rating of 7.5 out of 10. Oh gosh, Marcella's amazing! Your payment of $15 will be sent by our payment processor within 14 days. Thank you for contributing to our community. Only $15? Poor Marcella. Marcella's grinding. Trying to get the work done, applying for all the jobs, and she only got $15? She can't even afford concert tickets. Oh no. I hope by the end of the game we get Marcella a job. That'd be amazing. Marcella, how are things? What have you been up to? I'm passing through town next weekend and I would love to get together. Let me know if you're free. Oscar. Ooh, who's Oscar? Is that is it a saucy friend or is it just a, just a friend? I'm always trying to create drama with the characters I play as, so. Oh, this is so pretty. Uh, is that our that's the bedroom on the side? Okay, and then we can back out. Oh no, this is the bedroom. Then what is that? Margo. Ooh. Hi, Margo. You're looking snazzy. How's it going? How's it going? Uh, it's okay, but I've got a few deadlines coming up. At the rate I'm going, I'll have to pull an all-nighter. No! Being a junior editor is the best! Doing all the work while the senior editor gets most of the credit. <laughs> Marco, that's just how it goes. I feel it, I understand it. <laughs> um... Trash talk the reader? Why? Supp I'm gonna support Margo. I don't- I'm not gonna trash talk. Hopefully, with a little time, you'll be able to show that you're ready to play a bigger role at the Rosebook Reader. That's what I'm hoping. You can do it, Margo. What are you up to today? The usual. Looking for work. I'll probably do a few tasks on Get It Done to earn some extra cash. Could be a nice day for a bike ride, too. 
Ooh, that would be nice. Sounds nice. About rent? Can we not pay our rent? Is that the problem? About rent. I know it's a few days late, but I'm working on it. I promise I'll have it to you soon. Okay. I feel like Margo would be nice enough. Yeah. How's the job search going? I'm applying for pretty much anything at this point, but not getting a lot of callbacks. Aww. Why do entry-level jobs require years and years of experience? That's what I'm saying, Marcella! Oh my gosh, this game is too relatable! Me what? Me. I should probably go. I'm under a serious time crunch right now. You got it, Margo. Right. Get the work done. If there's anything I can help you with. Not that I can think of. Unless you want to finish the story for me. I know you're joking, but if there's some way I can help, I'm all ears. I've been doing some freelance writing, you know? True. Hmm. I know that the owner of the Rosebrook Community Theater has been bugging us to cover her upcoming show. I bet you'd be taking a load off of the team if you could go down and interview her. I guess we could do that. I don't know what else we have planned for today besides a bike ride. I think you can handle the job. I've seen your writing. I'll vouch for you. Yay! We're pretty desperate for more help after our intern went. Oh, what a good sure. friend. I think I can handle it if you give me some pointers. It doesn't need to be anything fancy. We'll probably just print a few lines about it. Just ask her a few questions. Keep it simple. Oh, you're smart. Oh, I trust you. you. Otherwise, I wouldn't ask you to do it. You'll figure it out. And if it goes well, there could be more work for you in the future. We like to hire reliable writers on a freelance basis whenever the workload gets out of control. So, this could be a cool opportunity for you. I agree, I'm excited. Right. I'm happy to help. I'll bike over there this morning. Oh, we get our bike ride and a job? Oh, amazing. We got everything all in one. Let's go bike ride to a new location, maybe? Ooh. I like this house. <laughs> it's so cozy. Love the trees. And there's our bike, so let's go. Oh, can we not ride the bike? Let's go back inside. Hmm. Oh, the bike is in our inventory. So can we use the bike to, or do we just keep the bike and leave? Oh, amazing. <laughs> it's me, it, it was just not, con the, bra the brain wires were not connecting. Bike is now in inventory. We can now use the bike to get places. I got it, I got it, I got it. All right, um, which way do we wanna go? Well, let's go here first. What is this place? There's a note on the door. What does it say? Due to incredibly high demand, Lorenzo Moore is not accepting any walk-in clients. He understands that this tremendous talent, his tremendous talents can't be found elsewhere, and regrettably, you'll have to seek out the talents of a lesser psychic if you need to make a, an urgent inquiry. Please consult Lorenzo's website if you would like to put your name on the waiting list for an appointment. Oh, okay. Lorenzo is very busy. I understand. Whose house is this? Oh man, I can't remember what the new entry combination is. I think I wrote a hint somewhere. <gasps> it was important! Oh, I have it! Okay, 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 okay. So the star is seven. Seven. Um, circle is eight. Triangle is two, heart is three, square is four, and diamond is six. Enter. Looks like no one's home. Wow. I was so excited that we needed to use that. I'm like, we worked hard on that puzzle. I hope it comes back. Um, whose house is this? If you're like, no one's home, are we, were we expecting somebody? Some old newspaper clippings. Detective's daughter saves the day. 
Another case closed today in Rosebrook, this time with an unlikely hero. A string of bank robberies in the area has left the police scratching their heads. That is, until Marcella Moon, age 9 and daughter of Detective Derek Moon, cracked this case wide open when she recognized the masks the bandits wore were made of the same fabric as the dolls from the local shop Linda Lee's Creations. With this tip, the police were able to corner members of the gang and bring them to justice. Okay, so her dad, Derek, is a detective. Got it. So she's had some uh, case cracking days in the past. Marcella Moon superglues bad guy to chair. It's unorthodox, but the girl has a talent, says police commissioner. Teen captures footage of illicit dogfighting ring. Marcella Moon awarded full scholarship by Rosebrook PD. Rosebrook PD seeks evidence in officer slaying. An officer slaying? There's a slaying? This is definitely spook spooktober vibes. Police are looking for information surrounding the shooting of investigator Derek Moon. Officer Moon was found at Murphy's Quarry late, la late Sunday night with several bullet wounds. So her dad. Okay. Got it. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Rosebrook detectives continue to investigate this incident and ask anyone with information to contact Natalia Perez at 555-232-6546. Should I write that down? Just in case we can find a phone. Why does Marcella not have a phone? Maybe maybe she does and I just haven't found it. <laughs> Remembering Derek Moon. Oh my goodness. Okay, so Derek Moon passed. And is that it all we can see here? Open. 201, one number is correct but in the wrong place. 179, two numbers are correct but in the wrong place. One number is correct and in the right place. Oh gosh. 038, no numbers are correct. And then one number is correct but in the wrong place in 713. Okay. 201, one number is correct. So that, that 201, the two or the one could be correct based off of the 038 is wrong. So we can't have a 0, a 3, or an 8. Same with 901. 901, one number's correct and in the right place. So maybe the 9 is in the right place? So 179, two numbers are correct but in the wrong place. So 1 and 9 for sure. One and nine have to be it. So maybe it's nine something one. That makes sense. One number is correct and in the right place. Oh, can't be nine zero one of nine something one because the one is maybe it's nine one something. Nine one blank. Cause it's seven one six. One number is correct but in the wrong place. No, but then the one would be in the weird. Maybe it's something one nine. Yeah? But means that we can't have a seven or a six in there. So no seven, no six, no woman, no cry. A few moments later. All right, I've been staring at this too long. Let's just start over, because maybe I'm just thinking about this too much. 201. One of those is correct. <laughs> 179. Two of those are correct, so it could be any of that. 901, only one is correct. So we can't have a 9 and a 1. It's 9 or 1. Uh, okay, okay, okay. 138, none of them are correct. So the zeros are out. No zeros, no 3s, no 8s. 716, one is correct but in the wrong place. So we can't have... A, if it's a seven, there's no one. If it's a one, there's no seven. Okay. And that first one, so we could also have a two. So maybe it's two, and then we cross out the ones. Two, seven, nine. 
Oh yeah, because then that would cross all this out. Okay, two, seven, nine are the numbers I have. So one is correct, but in the wrong place. So two cannot be the first number. So let's make two the second number. And then in that second one, seven, nine, two are correct, but in the wrong place. So maybe nine in the first place and seven in the last place. It's nine, two, seven. Whoa, okay. I was so convinced the one was part of it. It was not, okay, 927. Let's see, we got some earrings and an S. Earrings and an S. What could this mean? <laughs> earrings and an S. I can't take anything, it doesn't look like. Okay. that there's a person in here we have coffee yay Good morning Marcel what will it be the usual so Nicholas hello yep a chai latte for me and a macchiato for Marco coming right up thank you they have fried chicken 895 for some fried chicken This is cute. Also love the music. Very relaxing music. Just waiting for my coffee. Here you go. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, so we got a coffee. What is over here? Good intuition. Oh, hello. We have so many questions to ask. I don't even know who you are yet. What's this shop all about? Well, we've got everything a modern day white witch needs to thrive. Incense, Ooh. herbs, candles, crystals, spell books, you name it. In a more general sense, I provide products to increase positive energy, calm, and well-being. Everything you'll find in this shop is grounded in traditional healing practices from around the world. I've seen you in here a few times before. Is there something in particular you're looking for today? She's seen us a few times when we asked what the shop was. <laughs> I mean, if we were trying to be undercover, I don't think we were doing a very good job. Not really. Just looking around today. Yay. But you're interested in modern day magic. Sure, I'm interested. I'm still not sure how much power these things hold, but I find the stories behind them fascinating. Well, that's a start. Let me know if you have any questions about any of the items you see in the store. Okay. How's business? I've been very happy with it lately. I believe that, more and more, people are realizing that modern life doesn't hold all the keys to fulfillment. It's missing a little... magic. When that happens, my work becomes all the more important. I have been able to help many of my customers find new solutions to the problems they're facing in their lives. Uh, what are the rocks? What are those rocks in the corner? Powerful stones for protection, healing, grounding energy, and other effects. Each type of crystal has its own meaning. Let me know if you'd like to know more about a specific one. Okay. What's in the cupboard? Herbs. Used to create herbal concoctions with powerful effects. Put them in salves, lotions, teas, or even inhale their scents to get a variety of benefits. What's on the bookshelf? All kinds of books about spirituality and magic. I Take hope this is going to play life. into the mystery. I'm already intrigued. What's in the back room? Oh, much more. You're welcome to take a look. I've got home decor, beauty products, and more spiritual books back there. Are those candles special somehow? These candles are meant to be used for magic rituals. 
Spell candles help you channel energy towards a particular intention, whether it be love, truth, healing of grief, power, luck, I love Feminine this voice energy, actor. Creativity. All the voice actors is great so far. Whatever intention I love you this choose. voice. To get the best effects out of them, you should cleanse and charge them first. I can recommend a good book for beginners if you're interested. Sure. Thanks for the information. If you need anything else, let me know. Great. Um, let's see what else we can look at. Noteworthy modern covens. Pass this test to access the powerful magic contained within this book. Of course. <laughs> of course we have to do a puzzle in order to open the book. Number of triangles. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16, and then I'm sure there's like... 1, 16, 17. Is this triangle 18 19 20 right because there'd be four extra triangles per square maybe let's do like that let's just do one square at a time so this would be one giant triangle right two three four so there's four giant triangles per thing as well as four mini triangles so uh, that's what 30 16 plus 16 is 32. 8 times 4, yeah. <laughs> Math. Oh my gosh. 32. Okay, and then what, what else do we have? We've got this giant triangle. This giant triangle. So that's 32, 33, 34. 34. Okay. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40? So maybe 40 triangles? 40. No! How many more are there? 40. And then there's... what? 20 minutes later. 35, 36. Okay, maybe 36. Maybe I counted too many. <gasps> Eventually. Drop in the comments if you figured this out faster than me. I've been sitting here for a while. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. It's gotta be 40 something, right? I've gotta be missing something really small. 40. Well, let's say like there's four things and there's four that I'm missing for each triangle. 44. No! I still don't know where those last four came from! Okay, I'm gonna go back to that because that was guessing. I don't like guessing, but... Ooh, that was a hard one. I don't know, if, any, if anyone's good at those triangle ones, let me know what the strategy is. Ugh. I hate the triangle puzzles. Just because I'm bad at them. It's nothing against the puzzle, it's just me. The Black Cats. The Black Cats are a group that believes strongly in the role of karma and personal fortune. They are said to be karmic helpers bringing fortune to those who have done good deeds while dealing their own brand of justice to those they believe have done wrong. <clears throat> it is thus very dangerous to get on the wrong side of a black cat. The members are known to practice black magic. Ooh, okay. Learned more about the black cat. I have a black cat. He's adorable. Okay. We came from this way, I think? We went that way. Oh, what is that? A C! Oh wait, I had that like, the S, I had a C. Am I trying to collect letters? I just saw that over there. Okay, let's go here. Oh, hi! Hi, I'm with the Rosebrook Reader. I'm here to speak with Diane Fields. 
She's in her dressing room, down the hall to the right. Okay, thank you. Down the hall to the right. What is out here, though? Hold on. Ooh, a yeah, bag. I'm not going to go up and grab the bag while she's standing there. Well, why not? <laughs> Maybe because I'd be a little bit suspicious. Trophies. Got trophies, okay. Down the hall to the right. Oh, I thought we were going in there. Guess not. Maybe it's... Huh. I don't know where down the hall to the right is. Oh, there we go. Down the hall to the right. Oh my gosh, I'm just lost. I always need a map in games because I get way too confused, and that's on me. Hi, Diane. I'm with the Rose Book Reader. I'm here to interview you about your upcoming show. It's about time. <laughs> I've been asking someone to write up the story. I love her voice. You could have picked a better time. This will have to be quick. I've got curtain call in 15 minutes. Oh, I don't want to take up her I'll time. I'll try to be quick. What is your new show about? It's about the black cat statue that will be installed in the theater after this evening's show. You must have seen it in the lobby when you walked in. I did. It was very big. Couldn't miss yes, it. Yes, it's very grandiose. <laughs> What is the significance behind it? My psychic advised me that the symbolism of the black cat would play an auspicious role in this chapter of my life. I saw this statue at Good Intuition last week and I was immediately inspired to welcome it to the theater entryway. I thought this would be just the thing to bring some new life into this theater. You know, some people think black cats are bad luck. I used to think that too, but my psychic explained that black cats can also be a symbol of love, money, and prosperity. We could all use a little more of those things, right? I agree. I sure could. Mm -hmm. Who's your psychic? Lorenzo Moore. Surely you've heard of him. I He's have. He's very house. busy. <laughs> I can't say I have. What? We just saw. We just saw, we just saw his face, Marcella. I mean, I guess keep keep it under wraps. We don't we don't know who he is. It's fine. That man. No one needs to know. We wonders. know. <laughs> Anyhow, I really hope you will be present at this evening's premiere. Of course, I'll attend. It sounds pretty interesting. I've worked with many local reporters, but I'm not familiar with you. What's your name again? Marcella Moon. Marcella Moon. That sounds familiar. Yeah, child prodigy, famous father, you might have heard of me. I've been written about in the newspaper a bunch of times. Oh, wait. Well, that's fantastic. You're that detective's daughter. Yes, I've read about you in the paper. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's me. Diane, you're on in five. Well, I'd love to have a cup of tea with a talented young lady such as yourself. But as I mentioned, I'm about to go on stage. Will you stay and chat afterwards? Yes! Sure, I can do that. All right. Made a new friend. You must prepare to feed scandals if you wish to be known. Brave is the man who destroys his pride, but also brags about his own righteousness. I know not of treason, nor righteousness, She's nor the matters it. of an aching heart. Hear me now. For I shall not slumber until the last hour of our differences has passed. My question, still unanswered, will linger in the hearts of the dutiful, those who dissect the algorithms of truth and wield the weapons of humanity. Yay! She did so good! Killed it. Marcella, how did you like the play? Wow, very inspiring. I just knew you'd love it. I can tell and appreciate Just realized I had my inventory up this whole time. <laughs> Put that away. Marcella, you can't just show people your inventory like that. How long have you been acting? Oh, all my life. I 
I can't remember a time when theater wasn't a part of me. I've starred in many types of shows, from one-person acts to major productions. As of late, I've been concentrating my efforts on my monologues. I just feel that I have so much wisdom to share with my audiences. But to tell you the truth, it's been harder to fill the seats. People aren't interested in your monologues? It takes a certain kind of intellect to understand true theater. Mm. I knew when I saw you that you would understand my monologues. Thank but you. A lot of people in the world take that as a compliment. What? <sighs> okay. Um. <laughs> Hi, I'm Marcella. Nice to meet you. There's the black cat statue. Looking fancy. Hello? Okay. Alright. So nice to meet you. I uh, would love for you to leave this, this station at some point so I can go through your bag, but as of right now, I think we can maybe go back to the house. Uh, yeah, looks like that was the only place we already saw this thingy. Oh. Yeah, the sea. What else have I missed? I feel like I've gone... Oh, we're back at the house now. Good, 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 good. Let's go see if we can talk to Margo. I've got... Yeah, we don't want to go to bed just yet, but... Come in! Margo! I got you coffee! <laughs> what do you think of Nicholas, the barista at the Daily Bean? He seems nice. Why? I think he's been flirting with me. The scandal! <laughs> smart, charming PhD student. I think you'd better investigate. I didn't, I didn't even realize he was flirting with me. Let's, let's go back. Let's go see Good. Nicholas. Keep me updated. Um, I'm intrigued. I was, you know, just thinking that he... Um, oh. I guess we don't need to take it out of the inventory. We don't need to like pull the bike out of our pocket. We just leave. I thought he was just being nice and getting us coffee, but apparently he was being flirtatious. So let's see. Back so soon? Okay, never mind. There's the flirtatious attitude we were looking for. I couldn't resist. I'll take another chai. You must really love chai lattes. Guilty as charged. Well, it's a good pick. One chai latte coming right up. Saucy chai latte coming right up. <laughs> I wish we could order other things though. I mean, there's a bagel that we could get. I still want that fried chicken. cream this time. <gasps> awesome, thanks. Okay. Okay, Nicholas. Calm down. Um, oh, there's another thingy. Wait, can I not click on it? Wait, I saw it. Oh, I know the hot spots there. There we go. <laughs> a. We have an S, a C, and an A. Should I write down the colors too? The S was blue. The C was orange, and now the A is green. I wonder if that's important. I have an S, a C, and an A. There's a note on the door. Well, yeah, this is Lorenzo's place, but he doesn't want to answer because he's busy. Go this way or that way? Just want to make sure I got everything. They're back. This was the... <gasps> Who are you? Hello? Oh, it's our mom. Hi, mom. Good to see you. Uh, sorry. I love her pants. I didn't mean to be gone all morning. Lorenzo and I got carried away. Lorenzo the psychic? Lorenzo sounds really, like, suspicious right now. I feel like he's 
a suspect for something and I don't even know what the something is, but he is already suspicious to me because everybody knows about him and he's way too busy to open his door for us. How did you know? I've been hearing about him a lot recently. I didn't know you were into psychics, Mom. Since when? Well, I just thought it would be something fun to try. I've been reading a book that says you have to stay active in retirement, keep trying new things. Well, I've never done anything like this, so it seemed like the oh. perfect activity. I love that for you! So, what did he say? He knew about your father. He knew I was retired. And he said that good things were coming my way. That's good. And catch this. He told me at the end of our session, Alex says hello. You know, Uncle Alex who passed away a few years back? It was wild. Mama, isn't Alex a pretty common name? Don't be cynical, Marcella. <laughs> this was a message from my cousin Alex from beyond the grave. You could just feel the tension in the air. Uh, I don't know who I, I'm on this. I'm on who's I don't know which side I'm on oh, Words don't know whose side I'm on because like I want her mom to be happy and enjoy it and have like that Excitement about something but I feel like Marcella could be right because we've heard about Lorenzo and maybe he's like conning people He could have known about her dad because he reads the newspaper, but ooh, I don't know I don't have good vibes from Lorenzo, but okay Let's, let's, let's figure it out back? Yes. I want to know what my calling would be as a retiree. We didn't have time to get into it during our initial consultation. He said I needed to bring in some items from around the house to help him get a better reading. I'd save my money if I were you. I should know better than to talk about these things with you. Oh, I didn't mean to make her upset. How's your tired life? I'm loving it. I get to mm. lounge around all day and read books. I don't even have to put on pants if I don't want to. You don't have to, but you are killing those pants today. I'm obsessed with her pants. <laughs> I kind of want to go get some, like, sleek leather pants now. Um, I'm glad it's making you happy. I'm glad it's making you happy. I loved being a nurse, but I have to admit, I also love having my own time to do whatever I'd like. I can only imagine. For me, it feels the opposite. More as long as you love what you're doing. Sorry, I keep jumping the gun here. <laughs> Writing articles about dog dentures, raking other people's yards, fixing the odd face. I guess I found my calling. You're young and you have many talents. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Have you considered finishing your degree? I'm sure I could speak with Mark Rowland and see about getting your scholarship back. I know you moved back to be near me, but I'm doing fine. And I just want to see you happy. I don't want you to miss out on your dream. We love a supportive mom. I still don't know if that's my dream. After what happened to dad. I know, honey. But your father loved what he did. And I know he would have been proud to have you follow in his footsteps. Just consider it, okay? Okay. See you, See you later. later. Okay, well, Take we've care, met sweetie. Mom. We know she's going to see the psychic. All right, what have we not explored yet? We looked in the box, there's earrings, there's the S. Making sure that we have looked at everything. I think the play is about to start. I should head oh. over there. Cool. <laughs> Let's go. I like progression. Story progression. There's the cat. I wonder if something suspicious is gonna happen. Maybe I should be excited about suspicious happenings. But. Yes. She's so graceful. <laughs> what happened? Did 
she trip over it? Oh, I'm confused what just happened. Everything was going so well. Are you okay? Are you alright? What happened up there? <coughs> I... I don't know. I just got dizzy all of a sudden. Oh no. Do you feel okay now? I'm feeling better, but the opening night is ruined. This is almost as bad as the Amanda Littleton fiasco. What's that? Oh, I don't want to talk about it. Can you please just go, dear? I need to be alone. Yikes. How long has your assistant been working for you? Oh, Megan? A few weeks now. Uh, she's kind of a drag. <laughs> it's hard to find good help <laughs> these days. Oh no, poor Megan. Why, is there a problem between you two? No problem, per se. She does her work, but that's about all I can say to the girl's favor. Talking to her is about as thought-provoking as talking to a vase. <laughs> Savage. Diane, you can't just say that about people. <laughs> oh my gosh. Did you see what just happened in the theater? No. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm getting Diane's point now um, about Megan. Diane fell into the statue and broke it. Oh. Whoops. Never mind. I support the Megan slander. We don't like Megan. I'll bet she's pretty upset. I'm gonna put Megan and Lorenzo into the same bucket of I don't trust you. Um, but Megan could just be not suspicious but doesn't care. Yeah, probably. Are you going to go talk to her and see if she's alright? She knows where I am if she needs me. Well, I'll go check on her then. Okay. I mean, I've already checked on her. Do I need to go do it again? Yeah. Um, sorry. Okay. I think we're good on that. Nice trophies. I wonder what that piece of paper is, but I can't look at it. Hmm. Okay. Not much open in Rosebrook past 8 p.m. Oh, I guess we go back home then? I'll just make one more stop. Coffee shop? Coffee shop? Nicholas? Coffee shop? Maybe? Oh, no, graveyard. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> priorities. Probably gonna go see our dad. Uh, <laughs> that was so poorly timed on my part. Hey, Dad. Just stopping by to say hi. Mom and I are doing pretty well lately. Mom seems happy now that she doesn't have to work all the time. I'm doing well too. I'm getting along well with my roommate, Margot. She's becoming a genuine friend. And I've been enjoying bouldering a lot. It reminds me of the time we went to Smith Rock together. Man. I miss you. It just doesn't get any easier. I feel like there's so much we had left to talk about. I wish I could talk to you now. I know you're listening, but I miss your voice and your laugh. And the way you had of making everything all right. It's hard. But I'll keep coming to visit. Marcella's breaking my heart right now. I love you, Dad. Let's get some good sleep, Marcella. We'll get him tomorrow. We can keep coming back to Dad if it makes her feel better, too. Oh, we're going to bed. I thought it was the next day. <laughs> I was confused. Okay. Yay! Waking up in the morning with Marcella. Let's go. Okay, so now we can leave the room. I was confused. Let's see. Can we change our outfit? I like how I look in this shirt. I agree. Um, do we have any more emails? Nobody got back to us about our applications? <gasps> that is so rude. All right. Come in. Let's go to Margot. Mm, okay, we got options here. Have you heard of Lorenzo Moore? No. Who's that? 
You're the first person I met who hasn't heard of him. He's a local psychic. Apparently he's pretty popular. Marcella, I can put up with the tarot cards, but a psychic? Are you really into that sort of thing? Uh, joke about it? Let's say it's for an investigation. I don't know. I'm curious what all the fuss is about. I think I'll go I feel like that. Lorenzo is very suspicious anyways, so... Just don't let him have your credit it works. card number or anything like that. Do you know anything about the good intuition shop? You probably know more about that than me. Haven't you gone in there a few times before? Yes, but I can't say I got to know the owner much. She always seemed very elusive. I feel like she answered our questions when we came in there and bombarded her with all of our thoughts. I don't know. Some people say she's a witch. Like, a real one. I doubt it. That'd be, that'd be pretty cool. Well, if she is, I think that would be pretty cool. Yeesh. <laughs> be careful. Uh, we always need a skeptical Margot in our lives. Well, the opening night of Diane Fields' show was a disaster. What happened? She got dizzy on stage, so she knocked into the black cat statue and smashed it in front of the audience. Then she ran off stage. What? That sucks. How did the audience react? Well, it was pretty embarrassing. The audience was so confused. When they realized she wasn't coming back, they slowly filled her out of the theater. It'll be the talk of the town for a while, I'm afraid. So they just sat there in silence? <laughs> Until they're like, well, I guess show's over. Sorry I got you into such a- I feel so mess. bad for Diane, though. That's gonna be a tough story to finish. You still want me to write this up for the paper? Yes, please. Sorry. It's becoming a much more interesting story by the minute. What kind of journalist would I be if I let this scoop slip away? Alright. I'll have to find a way to be more diplomatic about it, though. Do you know who Amanda Littleton is? It sounds vaguely familiar. Who is she? I'm not sure yet, but Diane Fields mentioned her last night. Something about a disaster that happened a few years ago. I feel like we could Google this. I can look her up in the paper's archives if you want. That would be great. Awesome. Margot's on it. Never mind. Who needs Google when you got Margot? I'll let you know if I find anything. All right. Perfect. Let's go out on the town, I suppose. Let's go see who we can talk to. Oh, the music got saucy. Speaking of saucy, let's go talk to Nicholas. I'm back. I'll take another chai. You got it. This might be my favorite song in the whole game so far. <laughs> Come on, Nicholas, chop chop. I need my chai latte. This one's on the house. Thank you. I prefer to pay for it. No, I must say thank you. That's so sweet. Thank you. Marcella, you don't have a job right now. We can't afford to buy lattes. Um, oops, I didn't mean to go back, but <clears throat> let's go back to town. Sorry. Um, I was so flustered by Nicholas's flirtation that I just backed out. Okay, um, that was that, yeah, that was that C we found earlier. Um, let's go this way. Is he here yet? Still can't talk to Lorenzo. See if mom has anything to say. Hey mom, what are you up to today? I have an appointment in a little while. Then I'll probably do some gardening. Living your best life? Are you going to go see that Lorenzo guy again? If I were, I'd 
would be too wise to tell you. <laughs> I would really like to meet him, but apparently he's overbooked. If that is where you're going, is there any way you'd give me your ticket? Please, it's important to me. I don't ask for a lot. Only the best years of my youth. All right. To be honest, that is where I'm going. I booked a private session with him. If you want the appointment that badly, you can have it. Yes. His cousin Alex will have to wait. Yes. yes. Thank you. Oh, amazing. Okay, we have a ticket to go see, see Lorenzo. Take care, sweetheart. Thanks, Mom. You're the best. All right, Lorenzo is this way here. Um, and then can we... Ah, you can just go in. Perfect. I haven't seen you here before. I always start with a reading to get to know my clients. Please, have a seat. Those eyebrows alone make you suspicious, Lorenzo. Oh my goodness. Now, let's see. I don't know what he did, but he did it. I'm seeing a strong driving force in your life. It seems to be about knowledge. It has something to do with higher education. Am I right? Hmm, not really. Okay. I also see a great deal of prosperity. Have you come into some money recently? No. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I'm reading a bit of sadness in your life. Is that correct? That's so vague, Lorenzo. Everyone has sadness in their lives. Sure. Yes. Yes. It has to do with a family member. You. You know my mom. Obviously, you know what I happened. Get a sense of it. I'm picking up on a strong sibling love. You must really care. As far as I know, I don't think we have one. I'm an only child. Ah <laughs> oh, yes, that makes sense as well. I think what I was Somebody's not flustered. Not sibling per se, but rather your strong desire to protect others. Does that resonate with you? Sure. Yes, but there's something holding you back. It's your fear of heights. No. <laughs> well, oh man, I feel bad. We were just like shutting him down, but also I think he's not been right today. yet. I need to replenish my energy. <laughs> Is there anything else you wish to know? Yes. Yes, I was trained at the Astoria Psychic Institute. Of course, you can't really be trained to be a psychic. It's just a gift <laughs> that's given to some and not to others. In my case, my gift as mediumship has been handed down through the generations of my family. Why be a psychic? I have no choice but to be a psychic. I've had extra sensory abilities since I was a child. What do you mean, why do I share my gifts with the world? I feel like it is my duty. Why be given the gift of seeing so clearly, only to bottle it up? I don't know. He didn't give me anything to go off of, but I already still feel... <sighs> he has something to do with that cat, I don't know. Maybe I should go talk to mom again now that I've done that? Okay, mom doesn't have anything to say. Let's see, where should we go? Uh, oh, wait, was this here before? Hold on. What is that? Is that a, I can't, is it a zero or an O? But purple, zero or O, I can't tell what it is. Purple, okay. Good intuition. Did you sell a black cat statue to Diane Fields? Yes, last week. And the statue is meant to bring the owner good fortune? The black
Black Cat is a complicated figure, to say the least. In many Western cultures, it's taken as a sign of bad luck. However, in Scottish lore, it brings prosperity, while in Welsh culture, it's a bringer of good luck. In Japan, a black cat is a good symbol for single women, as it's likely to bring forth many eligible suitors. Then, there are the cultures who have mixed feelings about black cats. 18th century pirates thought black cats were good luck if they walked towards you, and bad luck if they walked Ooh. away. An old German tradition states that black cats are good luck if they cross your path from left to right, but bad luck if they cross from right to left. I wonder if that has something to do with where the cat was on the stage. And of course, there's the fact that black cats are often thought to be the familiars of witches. And the truth in that particular matter is that a witch can choose whichever familiar he or she wants. Black cats make good familiars, but they're by no means the only option. To get back to your question, though, it really only matters what the owner of the statue believes. Intentions and beliefs hold more power than many people realize. If Miss Fields believes the statue will bring her good luck, then it likely will. If she believes it will bring her bad luck, then that's what will happen. Maybe we should talk to her more about that. Thanks for the information. If hmm. you need anything else, let me know. Okay. Um, oh yeah, that was the book on the cat. Oh. Is this thing stuck on my screen? Oh no, wait, wait, what was the number? <laughs> I think it's 44 triangles. <laughs> I was just trying to back out of the thing, but okay, cool. <laughs> Let's go back to where we were. Um, <laughs> I just tried to back out of the book. Whoopsie doodles. Uh, it's not how it works. Okay, so that was the black cat book. Uh, I don't think there was anything else in here. We've looked at everything. But we did get more questions answered from Sylvia. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's another thing here. Nine. We got a purple nine or pink. Pinky purple. Pink purple. I want to go in here. I wonder what that is. Looks like a cafe of sorts. I'm not sure. Ooh, what is that? No, 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 the cat thing. Hold on. What is this? No, I don't want to look at the trophies. I want to look at the suspicious cat standing right here behind my head. You can't even see it. I'm sorry. There's a cat literally behind where I'm sitting. Your boss? Um, have you seen her yelling at me? What do you think? I'm guessing that's a no. So why did you want to work here? Whatever. A job's a job. Why do you think Diane fell last night? Don't know. Probably just because she's old or something. Look, can we be done here? Oh, fine. Would you mind helping me? I spilled my jewelry box and it's all a mess. Oh, okay, I sure. I organized so that each row contains only one item of each type and color. It's oddly specific, Diane, but okay. I'll do it. <laughs> um, okay, well. <laughs> let's see. We have a yellow, pink, green so we need a blue and a purple here so the purple something that's not one of these so it's either a purple circle or a purple diamond looking thing and then a blue which is either oh, it could be anything honestly okay can't be that the blue one can't go there. Okay. Where are all 
the circles? We got a pink circle, a purple circle, and a green circle. So the purple and green circles can't even go in this row, so it has to be this one somewhere over here, so not that one. Here or here would be the option for that. I'll put it here for right now. And then green circle cannot go here or here or there. So we're left with like the bottom and the top. And then this one's also, it's gonna be the purple one somewhere here. So no. Okay, the purple has to go in this column, but it can't go there. So that's 100% correct. And then that would mean this could still be moved down here potentially which means that could also be moved up there potentially. Okay, good to know, good to know. But I think the circles are in place, or the bracelets, I'm not sure what they are. Um, okay, so now we've got these guys. Let's see, why is that all the way over there? All right, you can go in this row here. You could go in this row anywhere. And same with this one, minus that row. So then this one can go here, or not not here, but here or here. And same with that, so. Blue is not in this row. Let's make the blue here and then the pink cream one over there. What is this now missing? Pink, yellow, no, yellow, pink. Blue, blue like that. Um, and then we need a blue in this row, which will be, ooh, I don't know which blue it's gonna be. Could be this one or this one, but it's gotta go over there. Okay. And then, and then what? Okay. He <laughs> This one's missing a pink here, so that would have to go here. So this one's the only one missing a pink, which would have to go up here. And then that is now missing a green. This is the only green thing left. And then... This is missing purple and blue. So purple something and blue something. I feel like one of them's gotta be the earring and one of them has to be this. So purple, blue. Then that one's missing a yellow, which we don't have an earring in that column. And then this one is missing one of these, purple. That one's missing a yellow. Should have to be this. That's also missing a yellow. And then we've got purple and then blue. Perfect. <gasps> Yay! Oh, amazing! I love this type of puzzle where you have to like line up. Um, I've reorganized your jewelry box. Almost like Sudoku. Love it. Okay, organize the jewelry box. Much better than that assistant than mine. <laughs> so mean. Hey, how are you holding up? Thanks for stopping by. Well, obviously, I'm still embarrassed about last night, but I consulted my psychic on an emergency basis, and he reassured me that this would not be as bad as I think it will. He gave me a few methods to turn my luck around. Unfortunately, something else bad has happened in the interim. Like what? Um, what happened? <gasps> there was a mistake with my regular donation to Rally for the Arts. It's an annual fundraising program for getting children involved in the arts. Yes, I've been to it a couple of times. Well, I normally donate a check for $5,000, but this year's check has an extra zero in it somehow. I must have signed off on it last night when I wasn't feeling well. Mm. I got an excited call from them this morning. They're so honored that they want me to speak at their opening event in two days. 
So you corrected them and said the check was meant to be yeah. five thousand, right? <laughs> oh, 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 oh no. I got flustered and said I'd be at the event. No, Diane! I don't know what I was thinking. Oh no. I time to think of what to say, but it's harder to backtrack now. If I do, then people will know the theater's not doing great and it will damage my reputation. Plus, it's for the children. How will I look if I take back such a generous donation in public, no less? I can't stand two embarrassments in one fortnight. So mm. you're going to follow through and give him the 50000 then? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, no. The problem is the theater doesn't have that much money to give. If I donated $50,000, I'd risk losing the theater completely. Yikes. Sounds like you have a decision to make. I would try to just correct that. Oh, I've got a public but, okay. On my hands big time. My only consolation is that since you and I so close. I know you won't let any of this get written up in the paper. Right. Now I need to go have the statue repaired before the next performance. Oh, what a mess. Say, do you have any idea what this symbol could be? I noticed it at the base of the statue last night. I don't remember a clue. being there. A before. clue. How hideous. I'll keep my eyes peeled. <gasps> I've seen this before. This was in the Black Cat's book. What did your psychic say about all of this? Oh, he was great. He helped me grade an altar to ward away evil spirits and bad luck. I feel so much better already. Best $600 I ever spent. It won't be too long until this all blows over. He also said I should never go back to good intuition. He senses bad things if I return. Ooh, maybe he's trying to get good intuition to go out of business. Hmm. Or something suspicious is happening at good intuition and he actually knows about it. Do you get dizzy often? I wouldn't say often, but I haven't been feeling myself lately. Maybe I'm catching a cold or something. Do you have any symptoms besides the dizziness? Well, I've had a massive headache all week, but it's just stress, dear. Nothing to worry about. I saw the symbol you mentioned. Mm-hmm. You're not going to like this, but I think it belongs to a coven. What? <laughs> what? I saw the symbol. <laughs> that would be my reaction. Intuition. The symbol belongs to a group called the Black Cats. It says they practice black magic. So does that mean there's some sort of curse on the statue? Oh dear, this is not good. I don't know, but maybe you should look into it. I will. That sounds eerie. Black magic. Oh, this is no good at all. Okay, so somebody in this coven knows something about that cat. Okay, she still won't talk to me. <laughs> kind of rude, but okay. Um, where else can we go? I burned it. Oh, the money that uh, Diane gave him, he burned. Great. Burned as in burned, or burned as in spent. It was part it's of important. the ritual we did together. I was able to send away all of the bad energies surrounding Diane. But in order for a ritual like this to work, the target has to make a sacrifice. In this case, it was the $600. <sighs> Unfortunately, I can't help you. The money is gone. Okay. Um, maybe we can go talk to Margo? What else do we need to do? Come in. Hey, I found something about <gasps> yes. Amanda Littleton. It's an article from 2016. It sounds like Amanda Littleton got the hiccups during Hamlet. She made the theater company the laughing stock of Rosebrook. Oh no! There's a pretty harsh quote in here from Diane Field. It was a gross oversight to hire Amanda Littleton to this theater company. Rest assured, she will never work in theater in this town again. We have standards to uphold, and will abide by them in the future with a more
more rigorous audition process. Hmm, that's interesting. Thanks for checking that out for me. All right. Okay, so I feel like we should go talk to Diane about that now that we know what happened. Let's go see. I promised Marco I would draft the new story before the end of the day. I'd better get to it. Oh. Local playwright and theater owner Diane Fields' new play, Night of the Black Cat, gets off to... An unfortunate start. The statue, which was to bring good omens to the theater, has instead caused... Um... Theater to receive unwanted attention, her to become the laughing stock of the town. Ooh, I feel like that's that's harsh. Scan. I'll say the theater. I don't want to throw her under the bus. The statue. Before running off stage during the first act of the show. How should we wrap this up? Uh, talk about her health. Talk about the sidekick. Talk about how bad the play was. Let's talk about the psychic. scheduled to speak at the opening of Rally for the Arts in two days, where she will donate fifty thousand dollars. Feel like I feel bad, like now that I'm printing that as news, um, because that might hold her to that. Where I feel like she should just go back and tell them that she can only do the five thousand, but I don't know. <sighs> there, Diane isn't going to like this. I'd better at least warn her. <laughs> no, this won't do at all. You're really going to print this in the paper? I'm sorry. I only told the truth. I'm really sorry. I tried to be as fair as possible. I can't believe this. After all that's been going on. I feel so bad. On top of it all. I can't stand it. Please, Diane. I don't mean to upset you. And I was going to ask for your help. What do you need help with? Please sit down and I'll tell you. I need another cup of tea to calm my nerves. Would you like one? Sure. All right, let's see. I'm not sure how strong to make this tea. My assistant usually prepares it. Oh well, the stronger the better. My nerves are really shot. Here you go. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh, we're drinking our tea. Look Thanks. at that. So what's going on? My awards has gone missing from the lobby. I'm sorry to hear that. Was it valuable? It certainly meant a lot to me. An actress's work is often undervalued. My awards are a testament to my talent. This particular trophy was a Heisenberg Award, only given to the finest actresses in the Pacific Northwest. The uh -huh. award is named after Oregon's premier female lead, Natalie Heisenberg. So, yeah, you could say it was worth a lot. So many things have been going wrong lately. First the play was a disaster, then there was the misunderstanding with Rally for the Arts, and now the trophy is gone. Either I'm going batty, or that curse you mentioned is real. I looked up this black <sighs> I don't know. and I want nothing to do with them. I should have never bought that statue. Why would they go and curse me of all people? It's obviously gotta be a person, right? I don't want to go ahead and believe that the curse is real until we've asked everybody everything but who would have it out for her i don't know problems started happening when that black cat statue came into the theater i shouldn't have listened to lorenzo everyone knows black cats are cursed this stuff about them bringing fortune and love oh what a bunch of hooey do you really think you've been cursed do you not how else would you explain all of this Maybe you're just tired. Um, maybe you're being messed with. I really think it's somebody. Do that. I don't know. I'm still skeptical about you being cursed. Can you really say you don't believe in curses? I can't say for sure, but I think this one specifically is not a curse. Good. Sure. sure. Best to say good night then. Alright. 
Ooh, okay, so we're gonna go to sleep. What is that? Oh my gosh, are we having a nightmare? What is happening? I don't know what that was, but that was scary. <laughs> Uh, any more? No! We don't have any emails! Let's take a look at ourselves. My grandmother's mirror. I just like her. <laughs> Looking great, Marcella. Let's go about our day. Come in. Okay. Oh, nothing to say right. to Margo. See you later. Uh, I guess we just go straight to Diane and try to find the trophy. Seems like the right way to go. What was that? Oh, look at all the cats! What the heck? Okay, Megan doesn't want to talk to us, but we've got a ton of cats here. Crazy. Um, okay. I do! I'm sorry, but he gives me bad vibes, Diane. I just have to say how I feel. Oh, the tea! Diane! How could you not let me know this? <laughs> Are you sure? Just noticed it. Hey. Right down your desk. Oh, how'd that get there? I didn't even notice it, so I'm not gonna blame Diane because I didn't even see it, but it was literally in front of you the whole time. No, I don't think so. <sighs> she doesn't even remember looking for it. Um You look pale. <laughs> Are you alright? Who, me? Yes, who else? Who else in this town would be pale, Diane? Who else what? Never mind. Alright, I was definitely on Diane's side, but I think she's losing it. Okay. Um, great. What is this? Crazy, yeah, one is missing, but it's on her desk in there. Crazy. All right, who else can we go talk to about this then? Nicholas. The Bulldog Center. Well, yes, yes, you have. Probably. I'm there every Tuesday. Good to know. Next time I see you there, I'll be sure to say hi. Please do. Oh, let me get your chai. Thank you. He knows my order. Uh. Man, I really, like, something happened to Diane. Maybe there's something in her tea. Somebody's poisoning her. Something's happening. She's drinking tea every day. She got dizzy and tripped on stage. She's not remembering things. Interesting. I'm jumping to conclusions, but... I will, Nicholas. Thanks so much. Hmm. Okay. I'm feeling really strange. 
And we're feeling strange too because we drank tea last night. Maybe? Ooh, I'm just making stuff up now. Are you dating Diane Fields? <laughs> Absolutely not. Where did you hear that? From Diane. She thinks you are. Well, I will need to discuss that matter directly with Diane then. But we are definitely not dating. In other words, I'm single. Nobody cares, Lorenzo. I don't care that you're single. I just needed to know that you weren't dating her. I'm not surprised. I don't know why you think I need to know that. I'll just say that, because I don't want to be rude. Just putting it out there. Lorenzo. Not with those eyebrows, sir. No, thank you. <laughs> those suspicious eyebrows. I'm feeling really strange. Hmm. Maybe we go talk to mom. <gasps> Marcella! Oh my goodness! Our pupils are dilated. Our rate is a bit low. Are we in the hospital? It seems like she's been poisoned. It's the tea! I'm telling you, it's the tea! Rest, sweetie. <sighs> oh my goodness. What happened to us? You gave Mom! Me How are you feeling? Fine, I guess. What happened? You passed out on the doorstep, so I took you to the hospital. Is there something wrong with me? Not that we know of. The doctor couldn't really explain it. I've been monitoring your vitals, and they're stable. You've been resting for quite a while, and you seem to be doing okay. That's good. I'm glad I'm doing okay. I've been feeling strange. I've been having these ear visual distortions. On top of that, I've had the worst headache. That's why I'm worried about you. But the doctor didn't find anything wrong. I'd like to keep an eye on you to make sure you're okay. I've been feeling strange. I've been having these ear visual distortions. On top of that, I've had the worst headache. That's why I'm worried about you. But the doctor didn't mm. find anything wrong. I'd like to keep an eye on you to make sure you're okay. Do you hear something about poison? She thought that, but your toxicology report came back negative. Have you been exposed to anything out of the ordinary recently? Yes. Tea. Bring me a sample of it. <gasps> oh, mom's on the case. I can't stop. Stay with me as long as you like. I'd like to keep an eye on you. I might go out. Okay, but you need to continue to drink lots of water. If you feel bad, call me right away. All right, I will. Okay. Let's go see if we can get some more tea. Oh, rally for the arts! I think hey! Okay. Uh-oh. She's okay. Okay, first of all, Megan still doesn't want to talk to me. Okay. One that you lost and then forgot that you lost. I was in the hospital. I passed out on my first That's terrible. Are you alright? I think so. The doctor 
I couldn't find anything wrong with me, so here I am. Except I still have an awful headache. What do you think it could be? What? Could it be part of the purse? No, it's your tea, Diane. I'm just trying to get a sample of it. It's rubbing off on you. Dizziness, headache, and all of them seem to be part of this particular purse's modus operandi. Quite delicious tea. Have you had any of those? Yes, actually. Sure seem to be drinking a lot of that tea. You sure seem to be drinking a lot of that tea. Oh, I hope you drink a lot of tea. This is a special friend. Only my hair is good. Where did you get it? From good intuition. It was complimentary to the person in the statue. Okay, let's go talk to Sylvia at good intuition. Complimentary tea you gave Diane Fields. I think I might have had an allergic reaction to it. I didn't give her any complimentary tea. <gasps> the plot thickens. Where did the tea come from then? She said we did. I'm sorry, you must be mistaken. Are those free samples? Yes, would you like to try one? I've got four varieties of herbal chocolate. Oh. Oh. What rose milk or la lavender dark chocolate? Wonderful. Enjoy the calming effects of this chocolate and give your body the best it needs. Thank you. Can I get anything else? Cayenne. Oh, I wonder if we have to figure out what type of tea it is so we can get a sample. An acquired taste, but a wise choice. Ginseng helps improve brain function, boost your immune system, and balance your energy levels. Hmm. Thanks for the information. If you need anything else, let me know. Alright, what? Can't pass up free chocolate. Yum. Okay, I mean, I just ate the chocolate, but I kind of want a tea sample. Hmm, I don't know. Okay, Lorenzo doesn't want to talk to us, so I'm thinking we have to go back to Diane and be like, Hey, you didn't get tea with your cat statue, so what's up with that? May I have a sample of that tea? There we go. You loved it too, did you? Sure you could have some. Though I am not you. Oh, I have my little chocolate baggie. Okay, yeah, I do. Yes. Oh, the, I lucked out there. I found the bag pretty quickly. Left down the hall. The door looks locked. Dang it. Maybe I should write this down so I don't. Is it that it? Okay, hold on. Let's try this. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's five of these on the top, five on the bottom. And then this one does. Let's do six and ten. This one does two and nine. This one does one, eight, nine. This one does seven, or three, <laughs> three, five, seven. Three, five, seven. This one just does itself, so just six. This one does five, nine, ten. This one is doing three, four, 
eight. Hold up. Three, four, eight, yeah. Huh. Why does this stay on? Okay, what does that one do? Three, ten. And then one, two, and one, three. Okay, so that's, this one's gotta be last, obviously. And how many tries does it let me do? One, two, three, four, five, six. It lets me push six times, okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so. One, three. One, two, and then we're gonna jump down to here so we go one, eight, nine. <laughs> Almost wanna just do it randomly <laughs> until it gives it to me. That's the only one that turns on that one though. One, two. Oh man. So this one definitely has to be like that. Two. Three, eight. No, maybe we have to want three, four. Okay. And then I need seven to turn on. So this one turns on seven, then I need to turn on three and five. Oh man. So this is the only one that turns this one on and that's the only one that turns this one on. Oh no, that's a five, what the heck? Okay, I did it wrong. Three, five, seven. And then we're gonna do <laughs> three, four, three, four, eight, five, seven, one, three, two, nine, six, ten. <gasps> Yay! We did it! Oh, great. Great, great, great. Okay, we have tea now. But I did want to still ask her about this. Yes. <laughs> I went down to get into a ship, and the owner said the statue didn't come with any complimentary tea. You have to ask my assistant about it. <gasps> she brought the statue in. I have not suspected Megan, but maybe Megan did something. The assistant out here. Was there any complimentary tea that came with the black cat statue to the leader? Yeah. It's just so strange. Did you pick up the statue yourself? The hmm. Thanks. Okay. So maybe she's not that suspicious because she just picked up the box. There was nothing out of the ordinary to her. Um, okay, so I have the tea sample now. So let's go to mom. Because she said she could do something with the sample. See you later. Oh, probably need to... Here. I think this tea might have made me sick. Why? What is it? I don't know yet. I wonder if we can find someone who is familiar with herbs. Oh, maybe, um, Sylvia. Let's see if she knows. Can you tell me what's in this tea? I think it made me sick. Let me see. It's no wonder it made you sick. This tea contains traces of deadly nightshade. <laughs> well, that's just nifty. Deadly? <laughs> that's the name of the plant. It's not all that deadly unless taken in high doses. In okay. fact, women use the nightshade to dilate their pupils in order to become Ooh. more beautiful. <gasps> what are the okay. effects of nightshade? Because of its dizziness, that explains a lot. Nightshade is known to cause blurred vision, dizziness, headaches, and knew it. More serious poisoning can result in abnormal heart rhythm, convulsions, and death. Yes, 
Definitely. Nightshade disrupts cognitive abilities like memory and judgment. People who have ingested nightshade may become confused or have hallucinations as well. Could the tea have caused Diane to fall on stage? This herb can cause loss of balance and staggering. Now I just need to figure out who gave her this tea. So is it deadly or not? Both Diane and I drank it. It is deadly, but judging by the amount of nightshade present in this sample, I'm guessing you didn't ingest enough to kill you. Mm -hmm. You're also here, speaking coherently with me. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I'm still alive! Nightshade berries to kill Mm hmm You do know a lot about it, and I know it's your interest, but that doesn't... That doesn't take you off of my suspect I'll list. I'll the fact that you're accusing me of poisoning you. <laughs> <laughs> That's all very interesting. So I've been poisoned, huh? And Diane, too. You'll be fine. Let me get you some Calabar bean. This should counteract the effects of the nightshade. There's one for you and one for okay. Diane. Maybe she's not so suspicious. She did try to help, so. Thank you, Sylvia. Unless it's poisoned as well. But, um, <laughs> let's go take this to Diane. Hopefully this helps us and we're not going to be dizzy. Oops, sorry. Um, here. Diane, you're going to want to stop drinking that tea. Uh-oh. Let's have the, this hard conversation. You would do a thing like this. Are you sure you can't think of anyone who would want to harm you? No, I honestly can't. I guess I've got my work cut out for me then. Please, you should go and rest. Go see a doctor. Take care of your health. Mm -hmm. I promise I will figure this out, but you need to recover. You're right. I should go. Please, take care of yourself and let me know if there's anything you need. Alright. Alright. <gasps> oh, she's gone. potential suspects already. Time to figure out what's been going on. All right. Uh, Megan is gone, so I can look in her bag. Hmm. Yes, I've been waiting. A funky looking lock. I think I've seen one of these before. I'll have to create groups of light and dark squares according to the numbers. Groups of the same color can't touch. Okay. Um. Um. Oh, so we can make like that. Okay, I get it, I get it. So then these would have to be gray because we can't let this touch. So that would make, oh, hold on. So maybe <laughs> we can do it like that and then that would make this. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, let me... Okay, restart, restart. That's a fun <laughs> Let's try this again. There's a one here, so obviously all of the things around it have to be yellow. Because it's black, right? And that's only like one black square. Uh, and then that way, these are now black squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Um... And then this 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, oh, I guess we can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we can go all the way around if we wanted. Oh, shoot. Okay. Unless, create groups of light and dark squares according to the numbers. Groups of the same color can't touch vertically or horizontally, but can touch diagonally. Okay. Uh. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So that does that. So we can put these as yellow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We need two more here. Did it say one, two, or one? Oh, okay, so there's two more connected to the ten. One, two, three. <laughs> Let's make this one, two, three at the top. 
two, three. Four. Does that make that four? It says we can do it diagonal, right? Yeah, it can touch diagonal. So if I want two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven. One, two. Uh, one, two, three. Four over here. Five, six. Does this count as a six? Two thousand years later. And these three have to be gray. What does this even connect to? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But then I'm stuck with one, two, three, four. Oh, five, six, seven. Okay. And then this one would need to be something that I'm missing there. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, that's the one there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Meaning these are gray pieces. Man, I'm still wrong. Hold on. Oh, maybe these are yellow, because this would have to be like one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that might have been the hardest puzzle so far. Oh my gosh, that was difficult. I just want to admire it for a second. <laughs> Dang, that was hard. It's. I like that there's the, the one in the bottom corner so you kind of have a starting spot, but holy moly, that was difficult. Okay. Catnip. Why would somebody have catnip? Well, she's got catnip in her bag and the cats are here, so interesting, but why would she have that is the question. Diane, Diane went home to rest, so... Um, do we go home to rest? Is that what we should do? I'm upstairs. Oh. I'll be with you in a minute. Please. Thanks, Lorenzo. Still kind of creeped out by you, but um, oh, are these the color things I've been writing down? S C A zero nine. How many of these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I only have one, two, three, four, five. Am I missing two things? Okay, hold on, because that would mean blue is S. Then we're missing a red. The green is an A. Um, orange I don't have, yellow I don't have. Then pink is nine, and then purple is zero. Okay, so I'm missing three letter number things. Oh no, C is C is orange, hold on. S blank A C blank nine zero. I'm missing red and yellow. Okay, let's go see if we can find those things. Yeah, that was the orange. We got that. Anything that I've missed? Ooh, <laughs> giant one right there. <laughs> I just did not see it. So Z. So we're missing a yellow one now. Okay, I'm just gonna go into all of the places. Make sure we've we've done everything we can. Wait, why can't I back out? Do I have to talk to him in order to leave? My phone number? Oh! Sorry, uh, just teasing. Please don't tell my boss I said that. Uh, chai latte coming right up. She was really 
shooting his shot there. He's like, you want my phone? Okay. Hey, Nicholas. A little saucy. Where have I not gone? Okay. How have I missed a piece of paper? That's what's like throwing me. Like, how did I miss it? But then also like the first Here bit of the go. game, I didn't even notice that there were papers, so. Okay. Um, saw that one. Is there anything? We saw this one, yeah? Yeah, that's the nine. Okay. No papers here. There wasn't anything anything in the bag. Diane went home to breakfast. I can't go into Diane's room right there. I feel like I should be able to look at that piece of paper in here, but it just doesn't allow me to. Huh. Cause it just makes me exit. No trophies. I wonder if that's it. That is the zero. I'll be with you in a minute. Please. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. I'm so confused as to how I've missed a whole thing. Yes, would you like to try one? I've got four. I guess let's get the cayenne one this time. Needing a bit of a cake today? The cayenne pepper in this chocolate will raise your metabolism and give you a boost of energy. Thanks for Maybe the there's question. a way to open the trophy case? I feel like that's got to be the last letter, else, number, whatever it is. So this is just this book. why his password paper would be in my room, but... Oh! Great. Sure. But the story continues to get even crazier than that. Let me catch you up. Oh yeah, we haven't talked to Margo in a hot minute. Nicholas. Um, Megan, Diane, Lorenzo. I'm still thinking it's Lorenzo. Lorenzo Moore. You have a lot to gain financially from making Diane believe she's been cursed. Now that's a theory. That is my current theory, because I feel like nobody else has really shown me that they would do that. Absolutely. This is starting to get really interesting. You really seem invigorated. You go, girl. Thanks. Keep me updated on how it turns out. Alright, see you later. Right. See you later. I guess I could also go talk to my mom. I haven't updated her on the situation. But I still want to find that last piece of paper. It has to be the one in the trophy case. I just don't know why I can't look at it. Hmm. I've been worried about you. How are you feeling? I've got some things to get Yeah, let's do that. While I'm not a big fan of putting yourself in danger, I know you're capable of making your own decisions. Why not let the police handle it from here? I'm so close to solving this case myself. I really want to finish it. I promise I'll be careful. Why are the people I love doing such a dangerous profession? Oh, being an ER. 
ER nurse isn't exactly a desk job. That is true. I still haven't found a phone. I had a phone number written down. I don't think I've seen a phone to, to use. There's nothing in here at the... I mean, I've looked at all of this. I don't know. I mean, I guess I could just guess, but... Do I want to just guess? I know you like the trophies, but look at the piece of paper! What? Oh, I don't know where it is. Can I go home to rest? Can I go to sleep for the night? This is ridiculous. I've looked everywhere! Let's see if I can go to bed. <sighs> Shoot. Maybe something on my computer? Okay. I've already talked to Margo. Hmm. I'm just gonna go ahead and make some guesses, I guess. <laughs> I guess, I guess, to make the guess. Upstairs. I'll be with you in a minute. Please. Help yourself to a glass of water. Maybe I have to get water. Maybe that's what it is. I mean, this is the... Okay. Nope. Can't get water. A, C. Oh, there's so many letters. Uh, maybe we should go numbers first. One, one, nine, zero. S, Z, A, C, two, nine, zero. Oh, this is such a bad idea. Three, nine, zero. No! There's no way that just <laughs> There's no way that just worked. Okay. I'm still gonna keep an eye out for that piece of paper because how, how, how have I missed it this entire time? I've just not seen this piece of paper. That's crazy. Diane Fields, uh, 13th, client came for advice about disappointing love life. A flirty approach may work well with this client. Oh, that's maybe why she thought they were dating. Gave positive reading about romance in near future. 127, second visit about love life, recommended weekly sessions to work with negative energy. Uh, February 3rd, took client to dinner after session. I feel that playing up the romance angle will be very lucrative. <gasps> Lorenzo, you can't just play with people's feelings like that. February 16th, came back for advice about theater attendance, recommend symbolism, recommended symbolism of black cat. February 20th, client concerned about several negative life events, or events in life lately. Client paid $600 to ward away spirits. Next visit, let's ask for a thousand more? Spirits have become angry. No, Lorenzo. Oh my gosh, guilty, guilty. We found evidence, guilty, 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 guilty. All right, uh, Layla Moon, that's my mom. February 17th, client came for a general reading, spoke about family, especially da daughter Marcella. Client says daughter gave up scholarship to stay near home when her father died. Client worries daughter is unable to move forward. <sighs> mom worries too much. February 20th, client came back for a second session, seems a bit lonely. Maybe romance egg will work here too? No, Lorenzo, stop it. Stop it. Not everyone wants to be romanced by you. Rose. I've had success with that recently. Ugh. 
Marcella Moon, February 19th, Klein came for first session, seems like a skeptic, not sure she will be back. I picked up on a bit of sadness if client returns, try to get more info on dad. Amanda Littleton, hey! Visits on 115, 129, 215, 219. Client does not talk about self, but instead wants to inform wants to inform on Diane Fields. Information has been useful so far. <gasps> so Amanda comes in, tells him about Diane, so he has material to work with Diane during her sessions. Okay. Very suspicious that they're in cahoots. Ooh, what does this say? Come to the something tonight cemetery tonight oh i gotta type it in come to the cemetery here tonight check bring five hundred dollars holy moly why come to the cemetery tonight bring five hundred dollars <gasps> i definitely want to be at this meeting okay Let's go to the cemetery then. Uh, I don't know which way the cemetery is because last time she just went there on her own. How do I get $500? Should I bring the $500? Do I have $500? Oh, how do I get to the cemetery? Alright. Guess it's not nighttime yet. Do you know where the cemetery is? Why are you taking notes about Diane Fields and my mom? Why are you taking notes about Diane Fields and my mom? Wait, what? So, you have been snooping through my drawers. Did I see something about that? I thought that was Lorenzo's computer. Okay, I think I'm confused. Before you start suspecting that I poisoned her, I'll tell you. I'm trying to gather information about my ex. Your ex? Yes, Lorenzo Moore. So, you and Lorenzo dated? Worse, we were married. I have to admit that I was tricked by his charms just as many others seem to be. But from the other side, I can see his character all too clearly. Mm. Why would you want to gather information about Lorenzo? I am sickened by his behavior, and I want to put a stop to it. When Lorenzo left me to focus on his work, he was still a respectable medium. It was hard to stomach that he wanted to pursue his career over our marriage. But at least it was somewhat understandable. I didn't realize that what he meant was that he wanted to be able to flirt with his customers. And that I was standing in his way. Hmm. Uh, how do you plan to put a stop to Lorenzo's behavior? If you had all of the facts about a guy like him, would you ever trust him with your money or your heart? The more information I can gather, the more I can convince the people of this town to avoid his shop at all costs. Are you maybe a bit jealous of him? No. <laughs> no, absolutely not. <laughs> Are you jealous of Diane? No. I feel bad for her. She is a difficult woman, and unfortunately, Lorenzo sees and can use that. You don't think he cares about her at all? No, he doesn't care about Diane. I'm not sure he's capable of caring about anyone. Unfortunately, not everyone in this world is kind. That's why it's even more important to me to work I'm doing with my shop. Trying to help people overcome their troubles and bring more light into their lives. Are you a member of the Black Cats? No. Their mission statement is a true Why not? Revenge for its own sake is pain. I'm ready to use my skills to do good. 
Okay. Thanks for being honest. Alright. Well, at least we've... If you need anything else, let me know. Learned more about Sylvia. I feel like she's innocent. I really don't think there's anything too crazy happening with her. I think what she said was the truth. Oh, Alright, here we go. Here we go! Action time! I'm ready. I wanna punch him in the face. <laughs> It's just like an awful person, even if he's not the culprit. Like, poisoning. hold up. Okay, it sounded like maybe he is the culprit, but he's still a sleazy guy, and I don't like that. This is not what I signed up for. I just oh no! Trying to be helpful. Why would I want to help you? Well, you seem like a nice guy. I was actually starting to like. Should we confront her? I feel like we should just jump out of the bushes. Yeah! Let's go, Marcella! <laughs> Sorry, Marcella and I have the same mind now. Uh, what? Are you... Amanda Littleton? Wait, this is Megan? I've heard it all. You're the one who poisoned Diane. Why? She ruined my life. How so? You're dumber than I thought. All I ever wanted to do was be an actress. I looked up to Diane Williams. She's at the center of the theater scene in Roseburg and Rome. Any kid who wants to be in theater in this town has got to embrace her. You're in a position where you can influence young minds. You also have the power to crush dreams. Diane Fields does not deserve that power. She is an irresponsible, self-centered person who doesn't deserve to be in a position of authority. She banished me from the theater community. Oh my gosh. I want her out of business so she can't crush any other young person's dreams the way she crushed mine. I want to ruin her career just like she ruined mine. Yikes. Okay. How this is what I want to know. How did she not recognize that this is Amanda and not Megan? That, that's my question. How did you get hired as Diane's assistant? Didn't she recognize you? It's amazing what a little hair dye and makeup will do. <gasps> now no one recognizes the bad kid and the reckless, stupid girl I was. Oh my gosh, that is devious. Are you a member of the Black Cats? Did you mean to kill Diane? I wanted her to feel the same kind of humiliation and devastation that she caused me. It's only fair to find such a I didn't have to do that. She was her own. Just a few manipulations. Now she's in the Did you really believe Diane deserves this? say she's a good person but I don't think that anybody would deserve what you put her through like that's my personal takeaway it's not black and white yeah it's not black and white Diana's a complicated person but she doesn't mean to do harm you know 
I never talk to you. I mean, I could tell. You would never talk to me, so I get it. <laughs> You've made a big mistake. You've made a big mistake. However much your life was ruined before, it's going to be even more ruined when I turn you into the police. We'll see oh are we f oh we're fighting we're fighting we're fighting uh, oh maybe we gotta time the blocks okay we're doing we're block punch Ouch. oh <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> I mean you kind of deserve it but block punch <laughs> oh sorry clicked Block too soon. Take one for the team, Marcella. Whoop. Block. Punch. Ouch. Do I just block and punch and that's how we're gonna get out of this? Punch! <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Block. Oh, I think I blocked a little too soon. Punch! Hey. <laughs> I mean, you're leaving yourself vulnerable to get punched, so. I wonder if I have to, like, wait for a specific thing, like, a moment to punch her, if I can just punch. Block! Punch! Stop it. No! <laughs> Why would I stop? You're literally trying to do the exact same thing to me. You could probably block my punch. Oh! Knocked her out. She she went down like a stiff board. <laughs> oh! Marcella was able to keep Amanda around long enough for the police to arrive. After hearing everything, Diane is still deciding whether to press charges. Sylvia confronted Lorenzo about his recent activities. He realized how much pain his actions were causing, and he apologized to everyone involved. He'll be taking some time to figure out how he can put his skills to a more positive use. And as for our heroine, she realized that she loves solving mysteries, and she's good at it too. Be it a calling, a passion, or simply a talent, she sees more cases in her future. Marcella, the compassionate sleuth. Your care and understanding of others helps you get to the bottom of any case. Oh, I love that! So I'm assuming you get different things based on how you play the game, and we got compassionate. Aww, I like that. That's so sweet. Is that the end? I love this. The end! Ah. Wow. That twist, though. Um, okay. I have never played a Marcella Moon game before this, and I have to 100% go play the other ones now, because I like the puzzles, I like the different characters, and, like, that you can have different ways of talking to them. I always appreciate that when there's more options to, to dialogue. I want to look at the credits because, yes! Amazing! Look at this amazing voice cast. I think everyone did such a fantastic job of capturing the characters' voices. This is awesome. I will leave a link to the download for this game in the description box. I believe when I release this video, the game will already be out on Steam. So, if you'd like to go play it for yourself, I would love that. Um, so go support Hidden Ocean Games. This is fantastic. I'm gonna go get the other Marcella Moon games and play those because I loved this. Thank you guys so much for watching and a special thank you to Hidden Ocean Games for this amazing, fantastic adventure. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in the next video.